Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub. This video is a video to get you started with the new batch processor for Easy Team Builder version 5. This video assumes that you already know how to use version 4, so this video is not a video getting started from scratch. This is just to cover the batch processing part of version 5 for a transition for people who already know how to use the software. So with version 5, the user interface is set up similar to our other plugins where there's a home screen and then you've got different areas. Um, the batch processor, you can access it two ways. You can go into the build team section and set up your settings and this is where you would build a single team and then you can click batch process. Or if you're from the home screen, if you just click on batch process, it will take you to the screen where you start your batching. However, if you need to set up the settings for your batch, those are done. If you hit change um, team build settings, it takes you back to the screen where you build a single team. So it's going to use these settings for your batch. There is nothing different with these settings um, for how they work between version 4 and version 5. I kept everything the same for like the row spacing, the player scaling. Um, all this is exactly, exactly the same. With the um, exception of the smart objects, there's an additional choice for um, size optimized or full smart objects. I'll cover that in another detail, but everything else is the same. And there is one other addition on this screen, and that is for layouts. You can cho choose between uh, multi-row defaults or single row defaults. And this is something new. And you can also build your own layouts and import them in here so you can have your own custom layouts and that's going to establish how many images per row. So if you don't want to use the default settings for multi-row, you can ch change those and import your own. That's going to be covered in the next video, but I'm just pointing it out that it is there. I'll just be using the defaults um, for this demonstration. So I'm going to... Um, just do a couple batches here. I'm, in, I'm going to use all the default settings. Oops, I accidentally hit the build team. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to hit the batch process. All right, so uh, you're used to, or if you're used to sports photo automation, you'll know that you have to upload a template to run a batch or select a template in the user interface that is. It's different with Easy Team Builder. Um, since Easy Team Builder is not meant to run multiple templates in a batch and also since most people just build into an empty document I decided it was best to have the user open the document they want to build the batch into and then start the batch from that point and it can be a single layer empty document like this which I I would say probably 80 percent of the people are doing it this way anyway so you just create a document the size you want, make sure the layer is called Easy Team, and then you can run your batch from there. You could also have a layered document and just make sure you have the Easy Team in the correct layer that you want. But for this demo, I'll just be doing a um, transparent background here. And then there is a few different ways you can run the batch. So you'll always need a source folder, and this is your folder of images. Now you can run it from a folder that has subfolders that each have your own a, a team in there, and then um, each team is in their own folder, and it will group the teams that way when it matches. And you can have the subfolders nested, so you could have um, like a, a school, and then a sport, and then junior varsity versus varsity, or, or boys and girls in separate folders. You can have folders that are more than one level deep and it will find all of your folders. Um, so I'm just going to select uh, the main folder here. So that's one way to do that. And if you do the subfolder method, you have to choose team grouping subfolders because there's two ways you can run it. You can run it from a CSV file or you can run it from subfolders. I'll demonstrate one of each. Um, so let's first do the subfolders and then if you want to save the images, you would choose a save folder here. I'm going to save in the next batch, but for this batch, I'm actually not going to save because it gives you um, another option. You can save 
as one of the save formats, or you can select no saving, add all teams um, to the document. This will give you a warning, and that's basically telling you that if you choose that choose this option, it's going to add all of your teams and separate those by folders into the same document, and then you can edit those when it's done and then save as you need. But if you're doing 100 teams and they've each got 20 players, you're gonna end up with 2,000 players in a document, 2,000 layers. And if you're doing smart objects, you could crash your system. That's what that warning is telling you. So use this with caution and depending on your system is how much it can handle. Um, some people's may be able to do five teams, some may be able to do 50 teams. It's just, it's really dependent on your system. So um, team grouping subfolders. And so once you select um, this no saving, you see the save folder goes away because you don't need it. So all you need in that case is a source folder of images. We don't need a CSV because we're grouping by subfolders. And um, I'll just go ahead and hit start batch. It's going to give us a check settings window. This is just a um, way for you to check to make sure you have all your settings right before you hit continue. So if you need to change anything, you would hit cancel here. And then that would take you back into the settings window to change those. And then when you're ready to batch process, you go back in here and start the batch. So I'll just hit continue. All right, the batch is finished and it took two minutes and 46 seconds to build six teams, so not too bad. So what it did was it put each team in its own folder here and those folders are named by the name of the folder that it got the images from. And then within those folders, you've got all of your fol folders of rows and then individual players. And the same exact way you would if you just built a single team. So then you could just edit each one as you see fit and then just save it off because remember we didn't do any saving here. We chose the no saving option and we just added them all to the document here. All right, so that's one way to batch. I'm going to show you now the CSV method and also show you um, how to switch to the single layer mode. So let's just make a panoramic here. All right, so for this, I'm going to actually save the images. And so for your save options, you can choose PSB, PSD, um, TIFF, um, PING, or WEPI. What I suggest is not using any of your single layer formats. So stay away from the TIFF single layer, the PING, or the WEPI, because you can't adjust anything if you do that. If you're certain your builds are gonna be good enough for your situation, go ahead and use them. But for the most part, most people want to adjust their player positions in there a little bit when they're done. So for those, use the layered. Um, the PSB, PSD, and TIFF will all work the same. However, um, TIFF is limited to four gigabytes for a file, and PSD is limited to two gigabytes, and that will not throw an error if your files go over. It's just gonna keep going, and then you'll find out you don't have files in your save folder. I am working on a way to, to check and then to pop up a message, but right now it's not going to throw you any kind of message. So if you're doing large teams and you don't know how large the size is going to be, you're safest with, with using a um, PSB, which a PSB is exactly the same as a PSD, other than that's the Photoshop large format is what PSB is. So we'll select that. And then for team grouping on this one, I'm going to select CSV. So when you select that, you have to load a CSV. And I've got a different folder here. And so when you're running um, from a CSV, you cannot use subfolders. All of the images have to be in a single folder. In the CSV, um, how you'll do that is the, the cell A1 will be um, EZTB, just those letters. 
that's going to tell it where the data starts. And the first column has your um, the file names of your images. And then you have a column called team ID. Now you could have this column anywhere in the document, the team ID. And if you had other data in here, it's just going to ignore that. But you do have to have the images in the first column. And then under your team ID column, it's going to group um, by matching text. And it could be anything you want here. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you could have um, SDFS, whatever. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's just going to look for a match. So it's going to find all of the cells that say Aspire, all the cells that say Trojans, and it's going to group those into teams. So just make sure they match. And if you have like multiple teams, like a JV and a varsity or a boys and a girl, make sure you don't call them all by the same name. Just use something different for each team. So easy enough there. And how you would actually um, get that, well, you can make that file however you want, but um, you can use this data file starter and this will pop up a, um, a folder select. And if you select the folder that you want to um, create a starter data for, I'll just show you this real quick here. Let's go back to the desktop. And by clicking that, it creates a starter file for you that has all of the image names um, in that folder. And the first two columns are filled out. It doesn't have the um, team ID, so you have to fill that out. Or you can import the data from whatever servers you're using, like for your barcode scanner or whatever as well, and just create your CSV that way. All right, um, let's go back to the batch process. So then we'll need to select that folder we're batching from. And this folder has all of the images again in one folder. And that's it, just a CSV, a save folder, and a source folder. And this one's only doing um, two teams. Hit continue. All right, we're finished here in 34 seconds, which is 17 seconds a team, so pretty quick. And if we go to open our um, files here, and these are the PSB files, and you can see that It's got them organized into their um, folder and then the players. And this one doesn't name based on the team. It just um, uses the easy team finished folder. So last thing is, I'm not gonna show it in this video, but I will mention, make sure to watch the next video because I'm going to show you how to do your managed layouts. So if you wanna change the number of images per row, then you can do that and then you can batch with your own um, custom layouts. So watch that video next.